it's too short. God damn it. Fing machine. Ah! Machine, it's too far. Oh my god, I hate it. This is ridiculous. Ah! Ah! again hello and welcome to three in one golf my name is victor do you also have these troubles with your optoshot 2 system check out this quick video where i show you how to make the clubs in the software match your real distance on the course as always don't forget to subscribe like the video and hit the notification bell let's get started Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you guys know your own distances on the course. So I have a 7 iron and I have the 7 iron in the software chosen. And I know that on the real course I hit my 7 iron roughly 150 meters carry. So I'm gonna set up a target and I'm gonna have 150 meters to the flag. So I'm just gonna press the green flag and we're also gonna move the ball so we have exactly 150 meters to the green flag and for some reason the software changed my club so we're gonna switch back to 7 iron no warm up uh, I have the launch angle of the ball in the middle for the 7 iron and this is just an example for you guys so you can see how to improve the accuracy of each club so you can change the length of the ball flight for each club independently and it's a very neat feature that uh, the OptiShot 2 have. Yeah, 161. So I know that I can hit that, but I can also make so the 7 iron won't go that far if I want to. Usually my 7 iron goes around 150 to 160 in the software, so I don't need to change it really, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is go down in the bottom right corner and make this uh, pop-up menu come up and then I'm gonna press manage club sets and I'm just gonna go to my new set that I have here named Victor and I'm gonna edit it and let's say that it's the 7 iron that I want to change you can uh, set the average distance if you want the software to choose uh, the club that fits you for the distance uh, for each club so if you have 180 meters left to the uh, to the flag you might want the software to choose a four iron for you then you just uh, go to the four iron and uh, set uh, the distance to 180 and it will choose the seven iron for you so down here you have the speed adjustment and distance adjustment. So let's say that uh, my 7 iron went way too far. I can just change this to let's say 90% and then I press OK. And now I'm gonna hit my 7 iron after changing the distance from 100% to 90% 
and now you can see that it goes a bit shorter you can change the uh, you can <laughs> a brain fart god damn it <laughs> Not sponsored. Okay, so you can change the distance for every single club that's in the software. So if I need the seven I want to go longer, I can adjust the distance and to let's say 110%, and it will go a bit further. And if you think, uh, let's say, the drivers are going too far, yes. Take up the menu, edit the club set, and adjust the distance. And uh, you will get much more accurate results. Okay, I'm gonna hit one more. And as you can see, since I changed the distance, I'm about 20 meters shorter. You will have to find how much uh, percent you need to set on each club to get the most accurate result compared to the distance that you have on the course. I hope this quick video helped you guys and that it can improve the accuracy on the OptiShot 2 system for you guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one.